Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I think it was just a matter of time when I'm gonna be getting more new puzzles and today's the day. So welcome to another puzzle haul video. <laughs> So today I'm going to be dividing my puzzles into three sections. So I've got the ones that I received, the ones that I exchanged and the ones that I bought. And I also bought something that is not a puzzle but is connected to puzzling and I think every puzzler should have it. I don't know why it took me so long to get one but I'm going to share that with you as well. So yeah, I think we can just get into it now. The first two puzzles I'm going to show you are from my puzzle contact and the first time I went to his office I got out with five new puzzles so I think I'm doing quite well I'm trying to keep my collection to a minimum but if you've seen other puzzle haul videos you might recognize because it's the same company and stuff so I'm just gonna show them to you now the first one is a 500 piece puzzle from Prime 3D and it's Harry Potter it's got a 3D effect it's I think very iconic I already did the Hedwig one and it was really enjoyable to put together so really looking forward to doing this one too and the next one is a thousand piece puzzle, well, a thousand and eight piece puzzle from Stephen Wilkes Day to Night collection, also from Prime 3D. I have quite a few of them in my collection now. So I had the Canada Day, uh, Paris one, I've got Venice, and this is the, the fourth one now out of the Day to Night collection. So I've already done Canada Day and the Paris one, so I've got two more to do. And they're actually really enjoyable. What I've noticed is that the ones that have day to night going from bottom to the top and you get the night sky at the top, they're quite difficult because it's just so many dark pieces. But the quality of the puzzle is really good. So they've got all the random cut pieces and they're also specifically shaped. So it's quite easy to know where the piece fits in, even if you can't help yourself with the picture. So this one, I think is going to be a bit easier because obviously the day to night goes from left to right. Is it? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> the directions, they confuse me sometimes, but yeah, from left to right. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a bit easier because we don't have a lot of night sky. Oh, and the title is Northern Gannets. Have I said it? Northern Gannets, Best Rock, Scotland. So Scotland, there we go. The next puzzle I'm gonna show you, I got from my sister because she originally bought it for herself and she's already assembled it. And it's gonna be by far the biggest puzzle of my collection and I've actually never done a puzzle that big I know it sounds like it's gonna be massive now it's only 3,000 pieces so this is a puzzle from Ravensburger and the title of this one is Tigers in Paradise the biggest puzzle I've done so far was 2,000 pieces so I'm slightly worried about that one but what my sister did is she divided them into four sections because she knows I don't have space to do a 3000 piece puzzle on my puzzle board. She actually put them into four bags of 750 and now I'm not sure if it's like if that counts as cheating because doing like four 750 piece puzzles to make it like a 3000 piece puzzle is not really the same as doing a 3000 piece puzzle from the start. Please do let me know what you think about it because this will decide when I do the puzzle. So do you think I should wait until I move and then do the entire 3000 piece puzzle at once? Or do you want me to see put together now, but then I can only do two bags at a time because I physically don't have more space than that. So it would be like two 1500 piece puzzles. So yeah, please let me know in the comments down below and then we'll see what the fate says about this puzzle. So it's all up to you guys now. So the second part of today's puzzle haul is gonna be the puzzles that I exchanged. And unfortunately I only have one puzzle to show you because no one wanted to exchange puzzles with me. I don't know, maybe they didn't like them. But anyway, the one that I got is actually quite cool because when I first saw the picture of it, I was a bit skeptical if I should even get it because it looks chaotic and I actually asked the girl how hard is it to assemble it and she said it's not actually that hard because it's got very specific colours. I'm still a bit worried but it is Ravensburger so that always helps because you know that the quality is going to be good. This is the puzzle, so it's a thousand piece puzzle from Ravensburger and it's James Rizzi collection and the title of this one is Times Square, Everyone Should Go There. At first I was worried because I thought only the inside is gonna be the actual puzzle, but it's actually 
the outer frame as well which is great because they're all white which means it's gonna be quite simple to put them together you also have the entire line of people so you know exactly which direction the pieces are gonna be turned with which helps so much so I actually went from being worried about this puzzle to really looking forward to putting it together because it looks quite fun and the artwork is actually quite cool so I think this could be one of the puzzles that would end up on the wall the third section of today's puzzle haul are the puzzles that I bought. And the first one, it's a 1040 piece puzzle from Treffle. And how I came about this puzzle actually, someone commented under my video saying that I should check the crazy shape puzzle from Treffle. The crazy shapes are the ones that they don't even have the edge and they don't have any normal pieces. I don't know how to even explain it i'm just gonna put the picture in because it's gonna make more sense but i was looking at those puzzles and then it recommended me this puzzle and i thought this looks quite cool because it's got spiral it looks a bit similar to crypt puzzle just based on how the pattern goes because in the back you can see that it's got swirl in the middle and then it's got the square edge and yeah i'm not really sure what to expect from this puzzle but i really like the colors and i said you know, I'm just gonna try it, why not? The next puzzle I'm gonna show you, I've seen quite a lot of them when I lived in London, but I didn't have that much time to do them. So this is a thousand piece puzzle from Jumbo. It's a wash jig. So it's basically, you have a picture for anyone who doesn't know. It's got a picture, but then you don't actually put together what's on the picture, but you put together the future. So what it says on the box, it says, don't puzzle what you see, use your imagination and puzzle the future. The title of this one is The Toy Shop. They've got quite a few different ones. And then in the back, they also show you an example of how it's supposed to look, for instance, what, what the differences could be. So I have no idea what to expect with this puzzle, but I think it's gonna be quite fun in a way because you're gonna know what you're putting together, but you're not really gonna know what you're putting together, so. I want to see what they actually came up with and what the differences are going to be. The next thing I'm going to show you is not actually a puzzle, but it is a puzzle sorting thing. I don't know how to call it. Anyway, oh yeah, puzzle sorting trays, duh. So I've, I've had these in my basket for quite a while, but they were not in stock because I specifically wanted to have the orange and, well, I wanted to have a completely white one, but they were just never in stock. So out of the blue and the orange one, I wanted to have the orange one and it finally came in. So I actually bought it. And this one is for, I think it says it holds, yeah, up to 2000 pieces. It's got 12 trays in it. So six white, six orange ones. So you can actually use it like two people can share them and you know you can just divide them into six and six. But anyway, I'm going to open this now because I want to see how they actually are inside. So that looks quite cool. I think we've, we have a lid. That's cool. So obviously they're stackable and they're not as deep as I thought they're gonna be but I think it's completely fine because you've got 12 of them and that's gonna make it really easy when sorting the puzzle. So if you only have six of them, it's a bit hard to divide all the colors specifically, but if you have 12 of them, I think it makes it a lot easier. I'm not actually sure how many pieces you can fit in it. I wanna see. I'm gonna try it. I've got a 300 piece puzzle, and I'm gonna see how many trays I can fit it in. Okay, so I've got these 300 piece Ravensburger puzzle. I think it's called Sweet Dreams. So let's see how many trays we use for that. Yeah, you can actually fit them into two trays easily. And these pieces are a bit bigger than normal thousand piece puzzles. Even though they're not that deep, they actually hold quite a lot in them. So that's quite cool. I think it's definitely a good invention. It also looks really cute when you put it together because it creates a shape of a honeycomb. So today I'm adding six new puzzles to my collection and I honestly have no idea how many puzzles I've got right now because obviously I exchanged some puzzles, then I lent some puzzles, I need to return some puzzles, but as long as they all fit in my wardrobe, I know that the number can't be too high, so 
that's all good on that front. I've done quite a few puzzles since starting my channel and if you want to see all of them, including the ones that I didn't make into videos, that I rated them by their difficulty level, just check this video out next. Bye!